Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming and this is from the Depths Designer but this is because when I started up this afternoon to do some more building and checking things I noticed there was a new version so we're now up to version 2.2.280 is what was loaded on my machine um, when I started up and there's a some really interesting changes some of which i have been waiting for for a while obviously a lot of bug fixes but the the, the three main main ones we'll go through a couple of minor ones first um now for those that like building there is a new you'll notice this block here isn't a damage this this little block here is now what is called a mimic block if i can uh, find it again um well decorations and then you go under here and there's a mimic block which has a, a set armor and health but now when you put the block down and I'll do it in an open area over here you can go into the area, um, properties and make it simulate any other block you want so let's say we want this to be a um, uh, what, what, let's just have a look down here what we can find uh, okay auto loader okay then what you can do is you can change anything you like on it you can change its position you can change its scaling position um, you can make it really damn large if you really so wished so you can make all these changes, but these changes are all visu vis visual. And as you saw, I can change the pitch and the roll, and you know, visually make this fit an area. Um, one thing that's missing on here is a copy and paste function. Once you've set up a block, because um, it'd be easy to copy it. But you can, so you can make a block appear to fit into an area. This is a decorational change so that people could fill in gaps or make a block fit in a particular area but you can't now connect to this block there is no way of connecting another block onto this one apart from the mimic block that you originally created so it is purely a visual decoration um, this doesn't act as armor or stop anything it just looks good uh, but that's going to be useful for all those that that want to rescale something to fit in visually with something. Okay, what else is there before we get on to some of the items is um, under lasers, I saw there was a laser cutter. So this is, um, think of it as a laser cheese wire, for want of a better word. So this is going to be a close-in melee weapon. So you put it between connectors between these particular cutter blocks and in the menu under missile uh, energy weapons it's here under the laser cutter. So you connect it to your um, uh, connectors. It's got a fair bit of armor so I think it's, it's going to be you know 10, 500 health, it's not a lot stand against much, but then it uses the power of the laser cavity it's connected to to create this con continuous wave laser which basically damages anything that goes over. So, as I say, think of it as a laser cheese wire. Could be a make a be an alternative to those that want to create drills or other type of weapons so yeah, interesting haven't played with this it's not my type of area um, but since it's here it could be interesting for, as a way against ships that like to get close so it could be an anti-ramming as well as ramming it could be an anti-ramming defense along the edge of your web of your ship as a possibility because uh, it doesn't seem to be any sort of range I can't see any difference depending on, on how far this is so theoretically you could put that the full length of your ship if it's got a flat side and um, basically anything going across this wire zap could be interesting anyway what else the main one for me in uh, this particular patch let's get my character up 
is the missiles. Yes, yes, missiles. So the main, there's quite a few changes here, so we'll go through, through them. Um, there's a number of block changes um, and sizes. So the key elements we have here is the missiles now have three sizes. The small missiles, a medium size and a large. So you can see these take up different block sizes. Um, we have the small which has basically um, a quarter of the size so basically you get four missiles in the one meter block. The medium which is the same as we had previously and the large which takes up four blocks. Now most of the values are in some ways appreciatively bigger in many areas. Damage, fuel, drag speed etc. So these are the launches. Now one other extra is the rail launchers which are quite nice visually um, and have a, a different way of launching the aircraft so like uh, the bombs so they're quite nice. Um, the other part as far as blocks so they're the launchers the next you had is the actual gantries so the small gantry um, on here uh, just puts an extra block in there the rail launchers start adding to the rails so it makes a longer rail uh, the medium is the same the first gantry is the same as it was previously the rail as you can see just starts adding to the rail so that you can make it longer and then we have the large now one thing to be aware of when you're placing the large just as a, I'm to put to put my visual on so you can see is it's easy for the missile to get misaligned if you put the gantry on incorrectly so what I mean by that is if you look at the main block you'll see in in this case it's in the top right hand corner there's a connector block and when you're placing the gantry you must put it on that connector so if I put it over here so it wasn't on the top right and then connect up a block you'll notice that the missile is in the wrong place what I have to do is make sure it is aligned with the right hand top in this case the top right hand area whoops let me just get the right block just to show you that that will work there we go so it is must con your items must connect with the connectors that are relevant on the bottom of the uh, launcher so mine a bit but and it's the same with the, the rails are a little bit more obvious um, you know if you put the rails in the wrong place it's, it's obvious where the right what is the correct du direction for the rails um, final block extra is these are the um, hatches there's a number of, of versions the small hatch um, is how did I put a small hatch on this one let me just put a small hatch there we go so we can see that the hatch just opens there I meant to put one on the back here but um, I did it on the wrong ones never mind um, so this is a uh, the hatches for the small ones you can see it just opens up and these are the hatches for the medium ones although I have put them on the wrong block let's put them over there and this is an aerodynamic version so that you can see there's two versions of this uh, type for the medium an aerodynamic version and uh, as I say the two block um, version which slides instead of opening we'll have a look on those in a second and this one opens up quite nicely in a sort of uh, I'm trying to think of the right word the uh, you know opens up centrally like an iris um, sort of like an iris okay let's go and have a look at some of these missiles um, in use just to see what they are like so I'm gonna come off of here and bring my character over this way so this is the small missiles now um, 
we can see that the, the top has opened up because there is enemies around but we'll don't worry about that for the moment um, we'll go through some of the changes in missiles at the moment so this is the small missiles if I just come away a little bit so you can see them coming up and they move over there and they start firing quite nicely now the small missiles they're fast um, they for each of the blocks that you have in the, the uh, uh, missile you actually get four modules that you can add to the missile so this means you could make potentially some very small missiles you could get a valid missile in just one block wouldn't be very good but um, you have two blocks and you've got a, quite a good missile this is a three block missile and you can see I've got 12 units to use that I can use on this um, the, they are they have a because they are small they have a, a fairly high speed so this is going up to a max speed of 192 miles meters a second because of the low um, size of them and obviously low drag so good for high speed damage obviously is proportionally low on these particular missiles um, so you'll need more warheads to get the same damage or you just go for a small amount of damage but these will be highly agile etc um, one thing with the missiles is their lifetime so if I fire those just one more time um, out over there and we'll leave them aimed in that direction for the moment they didn't last too long that is because the standard lifetime of a small missile is only 10 seconds so you will often need a um, if you want to make go further you'll need a regulator but um, in general um, you know you can put a regulator in here to make it go further so that will depend on that this particular tip I think is wrong because obviously it's no longer a base survival time of 60 seconds um, so I'm assuming at the moment the regulator will add 30 seconds to the missile oops I don't know if I copied that oh I don't have to worry about copy to all because all four will get that so um, if I fire all four they should now go a little further with that reg regulator so 10 seconds for the small 20 seconds now for the medium and 40 seconds for the large so you can see that's gone a lot further this time yep I didn't it didn't look like that was 30 seconds that looked a little bit less than that okay this is the medium and with the hatch at the top as you can see it slid across this particular hatch so if I fire this particular one uh, we just follow this one now I've set it up to go and then it fires now I have put a, one problem that I've noticed is this turn down to the sea skimming is very violent and uh, you need about three fins on the back of every missile just to not go into the water due to that sea skimming um, I don't know if, I don't think that's as intended uh, so I have put a report about that up uh, anything else on this one yeah so that that's the various bits now one thing this is a variable thruster and this now has a start delay previously you could only give a ramp up time but it now has a start delay as well as a ramp up time so that gives it a lot more you know um, uh, similar to the what the short thruster used to be uh, the short range thrusters are still in in here but they are just a very high powered um, usage um, very good for going extremely fast basically right um, next is the large so this is the new large missile as you can see it is proportionally much larger and for each block we have here for each one meter block you get one module so there is a lot less module but obvious I wouldn't say obviously the explosive warhead 
is significantly higher. Two explosive warheads here have an HE damage of 80,000 um, points. If we check here, two explosive damage here has 8,000. So that means that is 10 times the size of damage uh, for the same number of modules. So um, to do the same on here, so we've got two modules there and 8,000, two modules here, 10,000. So yes, it's doing a lot of damage, but it's slow. 90 meters a second for its base, its, its uh, core um, at max, max speed at 300, 104 meters. This running at the same sort of default settings, 135. So it's going a lot slower. It's not they're never going to get to the same speed. So let's just try firing this one. So you can see this one go around. Now one other point is it's less agile. So, yeah, can see that taking its time to go out and turn. And we'll talk about turning in a second. So, and then it heads down and then, oh, will it get out? No, it's going to go into the water. As I say, sometimes it does that with this. And that's got how many modules? It's got three fins and it can't turn out of the water. Very annoying. Um, so we might even need another fin on that. Let's just see if we can do it with four fins. One other thing with turning. There has been a new change for missiles in that their turn rate is relative to their speed and altitude. The faster and higher a missile goes, the slower it is to turn. Will that get out of the water? just with four fins so um, as I say that's, that's it's a not great for vertical launch missiles at the moment hopefully they will change that it just turns too sharply or turns back not quick enough needs a little bit of a, a change on that um, the fuel contained by a large missile is also proportionally larger as you can see the amount of fuel I've got here just for one fuel module and we've managed to go quite a, a distance um, that's nearly 2,800 just with one fuel. So that's cool. And then finally we do have here is a torpedo. So just having a, a go through here. There's our launcher and a torpedo missile. Now torpedo propeller has similar startup delays, ramp times, thrust per second, etc. All the usual elements that we can um, select for a missile and a whole heap of damage he radius etc on this so this all uh, really good and when we fire it off there we go under the water it goes nice and uh, it's obviously the large torpedo here is not going to travel very fast but with that amount of um, HE um, inside, it doesn't have to travel very fast if it does hit the target. So that's those missiles. The other one, missiles were the rails. So let me just show you those. Let me just get up, up here. It would be easier if I use the chair. So the rails... We've got a number of types of missile here. So these are the small rails. So um, the rear launcher actually becomes part of the module. So it's a launcher and also a gantry in one. Um, it means that the controller or control block can be put on top of it rather than having to go below. And you can see it's a much neater solution and also has a lower drag coefficient i believe if we look at um, these in here we'll just see if it actually states the drag on here drag reduced to 0.1 whereas the normal one has a normal drag value so these are great for um aircraft to keep 
you know, allow them to have missiles on a lower drag. Just come off there. And the firing of them. So they fire off the rails. Now small seem to fire all four at once. Um, I'm not sure that might be... You might can, yeah, change that with... Um, staggered fires etc then we got the, the this is the standard medium same as we have at the moment and then we have the large over here let me just get over into this area so that's uh, number three large missile which is going to be a, a, a that's, the, that's a sizable missile that you're firing off there into into the target so I quite like the way it launches that's quite good now the other way is bombs how you can use um, the various launchers to drop bombs now I've set up a few here we've got some bombs which are just on the rails and then I have put some into the normal systems with a, a, a gantry on them as well so uh, when we drop those you can see some of them drop quite nicely and downward I think if you put APNs on these downward they'll drop off quite nicely and then target into the target now this is going to explode no doubt and blow the platform um, in half once it uh, um, starts up yep thought as much okay so that's the various looks of the various components so what can we do let's, let's look at some functional versions that I've come up to with on some of these missiles now I think um, obviously we got aircraft usage for these rails but I reckon on a ship this could be quite good as a close-in anti-air to um, surface to air missile type of situation these will be um, accurate fast to um, target an enemy and that was using a uh, on there I've used a uh, staggered fire a fa fairly short delay but you could set that up one of a little bit on there the delay is now in uh, smaller increments rather than just point 0.1 it does it in point 0.25 increments and you'll notice the loading that took a little while to load up there we go so the ammo cost of missiles has increased it's generally it's a hundred ammo points per for each one meter so even though this is four missiles uh, that's going to be um, a four meter it's going to be a hundred ammo points per missile on there um, so that's uh, 400 in total to to reload this uh, missile so if we just fire them all off again you'll notice it's got time to reload there nearly 15 seconds as well so your missiles have got lots of damage and we're etc especially when we get to large missiles but they're going to take a long time to reload so the small missiles are going to be useful if you do need to do um, I mean defensively I think small missiles will be good because they'll reload quicker uh, let's have a look at some medium sized missiles so the medium sized missiles with their launchers now I do like vert vertical launch you can obviously do your launches on turrets I've always liked vertical launch missiles so we've got a couple here I think they're all fairly similar and if we just launch them off I'll come away so you can see them their launch pattern so they're launched up quite nicely and if we go on to one of them they've turned on to target quite effectively um, their fuel is, is the, the, the missiles are more fuel efficient I had said about that before they've become fuel efficient again which is great so this has managed to get a good um, 2,000 meters on two fuel tanks which is quite good 
Now, um, my other favourite, another change or way it put back to where it was, is you can now put a short range thruster and a torpedo propeller. You can only put this torpedo propeller if the first one's a short range thruster. So this I tend to use, I like on vertical launch torpedoes as an example. There's, I can't think of another use for it but this I like for my little vertical launch torpedoes because I use the short range thruster just to thrust it in the right direction and then the torpedo will take over. So just to show this one in use, I'll come away a little bit just to so you can see it coming out. So if we fire, they will fire up. Whoops, where we go. Have a short burst of um, thruster, which takes them out a good thousand meters. They then go towards the water where the torpedo propeller should take over. There we go. So torpedo pe propeller has taken over and now will take it onto its target. Uh, the other missile there is my, uh, I was trying again with my skipper design. You can see now when it comes out of the water, it sort of works, but it's not as stable as it used to be. I've managed to, by putting a, a propeller at the front, uh, sorry, a fin at the front and the rear, I've, I've managed to uh, make it do a, a skipping type of motion rather than get too, um, what's the right word, um, erratic. Torpedoes again are very fuel efficient again depending on how you use them. Um, this particular version, because it's using the short range thruster, the regulator is, isn't as effective as it was, but this is still going on. It's done two and a half thousand. It's certainly not as effective. Uh, there's the skipper mi missile has given up, so I'm guessing this will go a little bit further, but not too much. Launching a, yeah. And then the regulator actually came out um, at two, about 3,000 meters. So, yep, they work. So, um, hitting the water with a missile, as you saw, unless you have worked it into a ballast, and as I said, I made a skipper missile, and I've just come off. Let me get back onto the platform. Okay, let's try not to uh, jump off of the uh, platform again. So I was saying, hitting the water with a missile is a problem because they are unstable when they come out of the water again, uh, new dynamics. So that's why this problem with the infrared taken sea skimming is a problem. Okay, here's another little example of something you could do with a um, the, the large rail launch. So this is some sort of like skimmer missiles but I've put them on a spin block just to angle them at the front at the beginning and reduce the turn rate. That turn rate's reduced just to make them a little bit more in keeping and then you could fire them so we can see what they look like when they fire. So they're slow to go off of those that launch platform. You could put an injector on there to be honest. I didn't because uh, so you can't put an injector on rails. Rails cannot have ejectors. You have to make sure that your your missile has an immediate start. Otherwise, it won't go off the rail. It will launch and just go nowhere. So those, because the, they're launched almost vertically, the sk sea skimming factor of the missiles works okay because it hasn't got that that mega dip at the very beginning that the uh, other missile um, the vertical launch missiles had oh, we, don't, we are actually done to reach that target that was my uh, long range sea skimming missile I can't remember how much warheads that had but um, yeah that, that did a fair bit of damage HE is, is still effective now um, against most things that was one explosive warhead 
that was um, hitting there with <laughs> so uh, yeah that works so that's that would be a um, you could you could mount something similar to this maybe using the um, normal launcher and it would be very similar to the Russian style of anti-ship missiles that they have on their um, some of their ships as an example um, if you've ever seen pictures of them they just sit at the side and they're angled at about maybe that that angle or so and then they just launch from a tube the other one which I just really like personally um, as is typical in my fashion let me just make sure that's all on is this is one of my favorites I think the sea launched intercontinental ballistic missiles so these are all large missiles and these are all using t um, mainframe guidance so this is another new block they don't have a, a, uh, a guidance system they are all guided by this mainframe here so whatever this mainframe is targeting and it also uses you'll see with all those missiles um, that are launched now how the amount of processing power has significantly gone down and this will also affect the targeting of the missiles you'll notice now how the targeting is all over the place with these missiles rather than being nice and accurate you need quite a lot of of um, these blocks to be out sorry the uh, general processing cards to um, guide all these missiles especially if you're using large missiles like I am here if we go over so basically for every I'm not saying every point but as the uh, processing power of the mainframe goes down your accuracy decreases on where it is aiming at the target so it will move around and I think them currently it's moving around um, now these missiles take a fair bit of time to load as you can imagine with this number of blocks and the cost per block here these take a long time so that's 30 seconds to reload these are still waiting to reload except we've run out of ammo i'll just turn off the mainframe at the off. moment so just looking at these these have a remote guidance unit on them so it doesn't have to be at the head it can be at the base of the missile or anywhere in the missile and this basically means it will follow and I've just fallen off again wait for one second I should have built some rails around here okay so as I was saying using the remote guidance it will follow whatever the LWC the local weapon controller has targeted based upon its um, connection to a particular mainframe so um, depending on what settings you have set and target priorities in the uh, mainframe that's where the missile will target so they do quite you know they can do quite a bit of damage um, if they're set up correctly let's just do a, a, little, a little quick little launch So these are my fairly long range um, so once they get higher the angle will reduce I quite like the uh, turning in high they come down on top of the target 
um, you can set them I, I have experimented with a few different uh, turning rates etc I like the uh, coming down then they speed up they'll get quite a bit of speed coming in and speed has an effect on damage now because also the faster a missile is the more thumper damage that missile will do so uh, yeah that's uh, doing a fair bit of damage on the on the on the, these targets as they're coming in so that is the changes that I have noticed um, in all the main changes I think there is a couple of other little changes to propellers um, but I haven't really reviewed those fully yet um, and bug fixes but otherwise good this looks interesting this will look good and bad side means I've got to rebuild a load of ships now because I use missiles a lot and they're all done with, that I need a little bit of, of a review to see how the missiles are going to work with them. It's not a problem. I enjoy building, luckily. But be aware to have a look at your systems to see how the new missiles work. As you can see, missiles are slow to load and take a lot of ammo so I, I think that's despite all the pluses I think that it's a in some ways is this is a buff but in some ways it's a nerf and I've got with I haven't seen how it's done a balance out yet with um, the other weapons and obviously the enemy ships so we'll have to have a look at that long term anyway that's it for now hopefully it's good news to you all more things to build with I um, don't know don't know what they've got planned for next but you know um, this will keep me happy for a while so until next time keep playing the game and above all have fun <laughs>